All right, first things first, we need some underpainting and warm tones. Let's paint the sky with ochre, adding plenty of solvent for a smooth flow. For the distant mountains, let's add some Mars Brown. Now, move your brush with relaxed moves, just a few gentle strokes. Let's add some cadmium red to refine the landscape structure. Nice. Ultramarine and Mars Brown give a deep and pleasant color. Paint with soft motions, don't get caught up in details, we're only interested in the overall shapes. Feel free and confident, you can always make adjustments. The sky, the mountains, the house with cypresses, the fields, the pathway. It's going to be enchanting. Let's grab a flat brush with natural bristles. Ochre again, and a touch of cadmium yellow. With bold and confident strokes, show the round shape of the sun and the spreading light. Excellent. I love it. Now, a warm blue color. Move your hand in a way that the strokes curve slightly. Van Gogh would have loved this. And of course, let's mix some turquoise. As you can see we've added emerald green, you can also use viridian or thalo cyanin. Such a gorgeous color. Let's work with the brush for our own pleasure. We need thick and confident strokes, load up on paint and simply smear it around. Like this. It's easy. Just play with the paint like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Here we need a slightly more saturated color. Very good. Use this color where there is less yellow light from the sun. Good. Curved strokes are important. Now, Mars, Ochre, and Blue. The mountains are heavier than the sky, so we need to paint them with a warmer color. Like this, repeat the stroke style. Bend it, shape the mountain ridges. Of course, ochre again. The light source is yellowing, so let's paint the illuminated parts of the mountains with ochre. Prepare some lighter and darker blue paint. This is for the closer mountains. Thick, powerful, and confident. Your relaxed shoulders will help with applying the strokes. The painting is already looking interesting. I like some mystery floating in the atmosphere. And now, lighter. Certainly, one could have used ochre again, but I didn't want to. It's just a lyrical digression from the usual approach. Allow yourself to express your impressions, for this is Impressionism. We highlighted the mountain peaks, specifically the sides facing the sun. This warm dark color will work for the wheat in the shadow. There's no need to apply a thick layer of paint, we're just starting to create volume, which is a crucial moment in painting, though not so much as to forget about the joy and pleasure of the process. Another mixture based on ochre, smoothly transitioning to cadmium yellow. Perhaps you've heard that YouTube algorithms prefer more entertaining content, pranks, bad news, scandals, but together we can make it better and show people that there's a place for creativity and self-development. Help me with this, give it a like, write a comment longer than 7 words, and watch the video to the end. Thank you. So now in the paint mixture, there's more cadmium than ochre. We apply the paint to the upper parts of the wheat field. Look, here we can already apply thick and textured strokes, as this object is closer to us. Blend, shape curved lines. Enjoy how creative energy flows through your brush. 
add more small strokes to the foreground. Let's add more blue here, but of course, still in the ochre palette. Yes, and also Mars Brown. Let's make our painting more festive, more appealing. Where there are warm tones, there are also cold tones nearby, and vice versa. Do not hurry. It will be useful to keep a napkin nearby to wipe the brush. Of course, ochre. In this painting, this is the most important paint for us. More cadmium. Magnificent. And now let's add some white, but let's mix it with yellow and apply the resulting mixture to the areas where the sun shines on the wheat. Keep in mind that we only have a few strokes of pure white in the sun, and it's better not to use pure white on the painting. I already like it. And now let's refine the contours once again, using a soft synthetic brush. The main secret is not to try too hard, on the contrary, relax and simply let the brush stroll along the contours of the objects and in the shadows. So, emerald green, let's add Mars Brown to make the color warmer. It's a deep, rich color that's perfect for cypresses. Each stroke is a branch. Look at the direction of the brush, how it stretches the branches. We'll mix the color of wheat with the color of the cypress to get the color of a sunlit cypress. We'll apply these wonderful branches to the canvas. Press harder in some places, softer in others, let your hand do the work while you observe. We'll also use ochre paint to add the illuminated parts to the mountains. Try not to put pressure on the brush and pick up a lot of paint. White, ultramarine, and cadmium red for a soft lilac color for our little house. Soft, calm movements. Notice how underpainting helps us in places where there are no strokes. We can add a few spots, and of course, the roof. The illuminated part of the roof is facing away from us. I wonder, would you like to live in such a house in such a place? Write in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and check out my other videos.